Coach 9580 coming back at you. This will be a part two of the microwave. Got everything all organized around and put back in its place. It looks much better there. I like it where it is. And I'll show you guys. It fit perfect. It fit perfect, but the plug, with the plug being in there, where there's a plug in in, in back of there, it wouldn't fit in right. So I'm going to take this plug here and run it up like that I'll get some stuff at Home Depot probably tomorrow and run it up like that and have another four four foot piece come down and there's a plug in right behind here now that ain't from Coachman that's from somebody else put in there there's another plug I don't know if you guys can really see it but that'll work that'll work for this but it looks much better Right there, if I can give you guys a good shot there. That's where it's supposed to be anyways. And they had a smaller one there in Walmart. I didn't want it. It was 700 watts. This is 900 watt microwave. I didn't want the smaller one. <clears throat> but this is uh, right up. See? But like I said, that's where it's supposed to be. Up there. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a metal panel that goes on here. And there's four screws holding it in, and it would have to be lifted up higher. It's not that the middle panel wouldn't fit on there. You need to put some like pieces of wood underneath it and bring it up a little higher, and then it would have fit on there. But it ain't going nowhere anyway. This thing ain't going nowhere. You can see that. But <clears throat> I may get some little L brackets and put from here one there and one over here. Just something to braze it there. But I highly doubt it's going anywhere because it's. You can look down under here. There's little legs that were on there, and they, they went down over this little lip right here. So it'd have to come out. It would have to pull out away from that. I ain't gonna. I don't think it's gonna happen. But just to give some extra strength tomorrow, I'll get some L brackets and this little another little piece of cord, four foot piece, and put it down there. But uh, I think it looks much better right there. I think so. That's where it's supposed to be. And that's when they changed them. I think it was 1990. That's when Coachman changed their style. Because the 89s were different. They didn't have the microwave there. They just had like some kind of a, you know, like storage thing there. Where you could store stuff. But So anyways, that's that. And like I said, I have, I got a generator coming. And I'll be doing a video on that. This is that little box that I got. I got this thing is loaded up with shit. It weighs a ton. But anyways, I can just, when I need something, I pull this out, put it down there on the couch, and get what I need. I got my jacks in there. I got WD-40, I don't know, power steering fluid, brake fluid, oil, motor oil. I got all kinds of loot in there. Put the battery charger back up there. And these are camping chairs. I got two of them. I did a review on those a while back. But like I said, I got a generator coming, and it's going to be a good one, too. It'll run that microwave, no problem. Um, I'm not 100% sure right now. Let me turn this camera. I'm not 100% sure right now, but I'm leaning towards the Honda 2000-watt inverter generator. The one with the 30-amp plug. They got like three different... There's like three different ones out there. They're made by Honda. They're Honda and they're 2000 watt inverter generators now only one of them's got the 30 amp plug for the 30 amp plug um that's the one i'll be buying but i'm not sure yet if that's the one i'm gonna get or not but i'm pretty sure that's the one i'm gonna get but sometime in october i'll be doing a review on that and i'm gonna get a carrier <clears throat> they go in my reese hitch in the back there's gonna be a carrier on those little carrier things and i'm gonna put it back there and that's where it'll be. Like I said, I don't like this owning generator. I'm not sure yet. I'm pretty sure I was gonna tear it out. I don't know if I'm gonna tear it out or just have it fixed. But I ain't gonna have it fixed right off. I just I don't like it. I'd have to have somebody else fix it for me because I just I don't have the patience or time to deal with it. But the Honda is what I'm leaning towards. But I have been looking at this one at Tractor Supply. It's a 4,000 watt that runs 3,500 watts. That's a champion, and it's supposed to be like a clone of um, Honda. But it looks really good, and they've done some reviews on YouTube, and I've watched them. But I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. I might just get the Honda, because that's probably what I'm going to do. 
and then they got an attachment it's an accessory that goes to the Honda 2000 watt inverter generator it's like a three or four gallon tank and it's got a hose that runs into the gas cap that goes on onto the gas that screws down on the generator it actually gives you more run time so if I get the 2000 watt Honda inverter generator I'll be getting that too and it'll all be going on the back so and then I have to figure out I could do something with my bike. So, all right, guys. Talk to you later.